Get this figure and more at Lunar Toy Store. <coughs> hey, my is Jobby, and this is what you call a masterpiece transformer. Soundwave is basically the anti-Starscream. While Starscream is a treacherous bastard and is always trying to stab Megatron in the back, Soundwave will be by Megatron's side no matter what. I mean, as you command, Megatron is basically this guy's catchphrase, and it's actually kind of sweet. But before I accidentally show you my fan fiction or my artwork, let's just get right into the figure. The painting of the sculpting on this figure is superior. Unlike the confused mess that was the masterpiece Starscream, this figure takes a hard line stance into being cartoon accurate. In terms of the proportions and sculpting anyway, the colors here are a little more subtle than the animation model such as the metallic silver and the duller shade of blue. But in general, I enjoy how animation accurate this figure is. Also, beautiful thing about this figure is that it is extremely solid. Is that joke dead yet? Eh, at least it's not the swivel gag. It also helps that he has a good weight to him, and that's in no small part due to some die-cast parts. Using my cold touch technique, I've determined that the feet are die-cast metal, which is kind of a common theme in Masterpiece figures, except Starscream, because fuck that figure. I'm sorry I keep ragging on this figure, but I can't help it. This was my last Masterpiece review, and it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm so grateful to this figure for filling my mouth with a sweeter essence. <laughs> you guys aren't sick of cum jokes, right? I'm sure you love it. Despite the figure's blocky and simple aesthetic, it still has room for some awesome mechanical detail. Hell yeah! Well, I met you last night, baby. And if you go down to his feet, he has another opening compartment. Doesn't really do much for me, but if you had the separate cassette set, you'd be able to put their accessories in there. Very nice feature. All right, now that I've said cassette, we can wait a minute. There's a little more accessories that I need to talk about. First of all, you get a card, and Soundwave stats are not the best. Any speakers of the Nihon here? Tell me what stat that is. Soundwave really sucks at it. And you get another card for his cassette partner, which we will get to later, and his stats are a little worse. But in general, I don't care about the card. Getting into some actual accessories, you get a fake battery, which can cleverly transform into a concussion blaster. That plugs right into his hand, and that looks great. And for a little extra spice, you can convert that back into a battery and store it on his back. Mm, love me some weapon storage. And on the topic of weapon storage, this sensor can plug into his ass. But you can also fold in his hand and plug it into here. Not a bad look at all, but it's one of those episode-specific accessories. And I don't really care for it because I didn't really watch G1. Besides the movie, I watched that to hell and back. And then you get this chest screen, which can easily plug into here. So this is supposed to simulate Soundwave displaying some readouts on his chest, and you're supposed to be able to fit some backdrops in there, but unfortunately, the backdrops are connected to the instruction booklet. They actually expect you to cut into the booklet and put it on his chest. Not a chance. But you could always place a backdrop of your choice. And then you get a very plain transparent box. Mm. Pop the lid open, plug it into his chest, and now it looks like Soundwave is producing some Energon cubes. It's just a tiny bit poopy that this accessory is so plain. Would have been cool if there was some kind of transparent pink piece to fill in the box so it looks like a half full Energon cube. Then we can finally recreate that famous drinking scene. And now, what is arguably the coolest accessory, you get Megatron. Hell yeah, this thing looks awesome. But it would be even more awesome if Soundwave could and hold him properly. I can't really be too upset because apparently this accessory actually came with the first release of the Masterpiece Optimus Prime, which is a figure that looks kind of shit, honestly. I could be wrong about that though, I have to double check with TF Wiki. But it makes total sense that this accessory wasn't designed for this figure. As for Megatron's features, you can actually remove all of the attachment and the handle of the gun can extend, which is supposed to make fitting Megatron into other Transformers' hands a lot easier. And surprisingly, it does. And there's even a hinge joint. Hinge joint for even more adjustability. Alright, let's push that button and talk about his partner in crime. This little cassette tape is known as Laser Beak. Or Condor if you're a Japan. And this guy can easily slide into Soundwave's chest. And if you inserted him properly, he should pop out without any issue. But as many of you Transformers fans know, Soundwave has a few more cassette cons. They don't come with this figure. But if you had two more cassettes, Soundwave can take it all in. And to bring it back to the front, you simply flip this switch on his back and there you go. Just make sure you pay attention to the instructions. I mean, they are in Japanese, but the picture should be clear enough. The last thing you want is a cassette jam. But I'ma stop teasing you, let me go on the way in. And here we have Laserbeak in his true mode. And this looks so good. It's awesome that they re-engineered the cassette to be animation accurate. On the original toy, which I never had, you actually had to attach these booster packs separately. No such thing on here. Parts forming, get the hell out. And if you go to his head, you can flip out this tiny camera, which is a reference to the Transformers movie. And to make this guy feel more integrated into the overall set, a set of tabs on Soundwave's shoulder allowed Laserbeak to perch. That looks good. And a tab on Soundwave's arm allows Laserbeak to perch on there. Even better? This little addition adds so much character to the figure. And for anybody curious, 
No. And this guy's even got a bit of posability. Got a hinge joint here, hinge joint here, allows for some Wings can flap a little bit, move forward a little bit, legs can move down, and the feet on this figure actually have a swivel here. That's all the posability for laser beak, but don't you worry. Soundwave himself has enough to go around. He can look up that far and look down that far. The shoulder cannon can extend, move up, and even rotate. But we all know what a rotation is. Rotation at the arm, arm moves out, arm moves out again, which doesn't make much sense. Bicep swivel, double bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. He can point, can bend here, and the rest of his three fingers are connected to one hinge joint. Waist swivel, and the legs are a bit strange. So you have a hip swivel. The leg can ratchet forward and not move back that much. Such a beautiful spread. <laughs> bend at the knee. Knee swivel. Bend right here, but that's more for the transformation. Ankle moves down. A pivot. But you can extend that to get a super pivot. And what could I say? This guy is a blast to pose. He's got just the right amount of swivels to pull off some expressive poses. God, I'm cancer. Being a masterpiece figure, this guy is a very good size. Here's Figma Monarch Academy, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Masterpiece Starscream, and the Masterpiece MP36 Megatron. God, they look so good together. Surprisingly, for a masterpiece figure, this guy's transformation does not take three years. It's actually quite simple and enjoyable. So sit back, relax, and don't skip, please. And here we have what the instructions call the device mode. But if you're old enough to remember, this is a cassette recorder. And if I got that wrong, it's because I'm not old enough. But for the younger audience who shouldn't be watching my video, you might be wondering, where's the touchscreen? And I gotta say, I love this thing. I really like how much of a break this thing is. And the attention to detail is fantastic. There's various ports and knobs that gives this figure just the touch of reality. Hell, even some of these features are interactive. I mean, of course, the tape deck function still works, but you do get some volume control, an on and off switch, I think. But most importantly, these buttons are all actually pushable. Of course, this isn't a functioning device, but it's fun to pretend. But then you can't actually push the play button or the record button. You're out of 10, broke my immersion. But at least you get a little port, which of course is a headphone jack. Now if corrupt, give a fuck about a bitch, I'd always be broke. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not get into that. Totally pointless, but damn, it's amazing. But I'm just a tiny bit disappointed that the figure is not a complete brick. I mean, I don't mind the bottom being kibble heavy, but I wish they could have found some way to fill in this gap because it's kind of really bothering me. I suppose I just have to take a deep breath and get my head out of my ass because this mode is awesome. So in this mode, Soundwave really compresses down, making this mode a lot shorter. Marika Godzilla Prime? Starscream. And Megatron. Now, so yes, I think I'm gonna stop transforming figures for the size comparison because goddammit, I want more time to do other shit. So yeah, I love this mode. It's awesome. But you know what else yeah. is awesome? Not this figure. No, 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 no. This figure deserves something a little better. Yes, I think this figure's amazing, and I'm sure a lot of you do too. Only reason it didn't get the triple kiss is that ugly gap in the alternate mode. But other than that, fuck yeah, treat yourself. And yes, it is a bit pricey, but after last week's purchase, I'm kind of numb to three-digit numbers. And if this video successfully tempted you, why not get this figure at the Lunar Toy Store? Glad to have you back, guys, and I hope that you guys watching are happy too. So go check them out. They got a good selection of figures. Links in the description. And let them know I sent you. So my Masterpiece G1 collection is going along really smoothly. I just wish Starscream was up to par. Oh, 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 no. oh. So immediately after a sponsor review, why don't we take a look at a fan figure?